I think this is mainly because they don't have enough contrast in their metallic. So I will show some tricks to get it. Right? So the first first thing first, I need to get uh some metallics, which are kind of always the same. Uh, you take one dark metallic, you take one. I will go on screen. All right, so you take one uh, dark metallic, one lighter metallic. So you do the same for the gold, as we will also do the gold. So for the gold, I will get these off. So this and let me find my other pot. So I will take the like this. Right, so basic, really basic metallic that we will be uh, doing. Um, I will try to shade, so we will be testing some things, right? So I will, uh, I will shade some parts with contrast paint. So the silver will be shaded with uh, black templar and the gold with gore grunt of fear, right? But, 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 being but, we are going to test also the difference between uh, Agrax Earthshade. Am I old enough to actually use them? All right, okay, good. I thought I wasn't old enough. Uh, Agrax Earthshade and no oil. And finally, finally, I'm a bit sad that there's not uh, a lot of metallic on this one as you guys did choose this one, but, um, we will also try. We will also try with inks like this, All right? So we are going to do some uh, some tests with those. All right. So I have all my colors in front of me. I'll try to get rid of all of the other uh, junk that I don't need. I'll get myself a brush, and we are going to start right away because I don't want to lose time on this. Need to do it today. So shake your pots. So I'm going to base coat everything, I guess, and I'm going to do it with uh, my darkest melic. Red beer, <laughs> you finally hit the follow button. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, I will show. I will show your heart a little bit later. I hope you will still be there. I will wait to have a little bit more people around here. So welcome in. So today, today is a uh, metallic. Gaming, let's say gaming metallic uh, tutorial. I will start with this. We will see where it, where we uh, we go with this, how long it takes, and everything. I just hope that everything will go up correctly. So I will take. I think I will just waste no time. This brush is way too small to uh, to just apply a uh, base coat. So when you're you're base coating something, you don't want to waste time like doing all thinny details and stuff like that. You can uh, you can use a larger brush that is n no more in a good shape. Like you can see, this one has no tip, right? So you can use this to go faster. Uh, Red beer hard. Are you using solely acrylics? Uh, yes. Yes, I've never painted with oils. Uh, the only non-acrylic 
paint that I have is some uh, alcohol based paint. I will show you uh, which are uh, the Molotov liquid chrome. That's mostly the only non acrylic thing that I do uh, I do have here. Right, so it's going uh, a bit faster. So I'm I'm just going to base coat the old armor with uh, silver, and after we'll start working it. So the trick the trick here is to uh, actually start with the part that is the deep the deeper on the bottle. So if you start with the gold. And you uh, you leave some silver, you will have trouble to uh, to get the remaining silver parts done. You will just go over your gold, like the gold trims and stuff like that. So you just start and base coat everything to get. Uh, you don't really care when you're base coating, like I did it hit. Uh, the hood, it's not a big deal for the moment. Don't have to uh, to worry too much about that. Of course, you try to not do it too often. But you know, that can happen. Especially at that size, it's really small. I know that some paints are more uh, non-acrylic paints who are more uh, effective like, I'm just thinking about uh, let's say Valero Valero uh, liquid gold I think they're called they these are alcohol based paint also but that means that means you you cannot you have to wash everything with uh, alcohol and as I am a brush liquor, and that I can't fight it, makes way too long that I am licking my brush when I'm painting. Uh, uh, that would be too dangerous for me. <laughs> that would be too dangerous for me. So I try to not use them. Same thing with oils. Like th that would be just a matter of minutes before I uh, put a brush with oils in my mouth. Alright, I'm just slapping my silver everywhere. So once it will be done, I will not wash right away. I will start adding my highlights. So what, uh, why I do my highlights first is because when I will add my wash, it will kind of blend the highlight with the wash. So I will have a free blending. I can say so if you are uh, if you wash right away on this you have to do like two or three highlights so if you do one highlight before or even two before you're blending them with the wash So we will see a lot of techniques today. I think we can uh, we can do the old stream about Metalix. That's not really hard. There's a lot of things that we can do. We will try different paints. Okay, so I'm just trying to uh, 
to figure out if I forgot any of the silver. It's always better to take like five minutes to just go around the model and see if you have not forgotten any part of it. Because uh, if you uh, come back after, you might have a different uh, color if you don't do the steps exactly like you did before. Alright. So I think my silver is just base coated everywhere. Yes, all right. So first thing I will do is uh, my highlights. So you can see I got a nice even base coat pretty quickly. So when you're not using, uh, so people people just tell me what's the difference between uh, the craft store paints and uh, like the Games Workshop paints or uh, all other main brands why they cost so much and everything this is why so with one coat uh i got a very good i just see on the screen that i'm missing a bit here with one coat i'm having a very nice coverage i don't have to go over this or whatever if i take a uh, craft store silver probably that i will need uh two three coats to get uh something like this so it's all about uh, the, the time you want to spend painting okay highlights so I'm taking a very bright silver to do my highlights this is where I will have to uh, to choose which parts uh, will be silver and which one will be gold so normally what I will do here is to get uh, all the designs gold and uh, the main plates of armor silver. So what I do is I just uh, highlight all the places that I think will be silver. I'm going with a bright silver because I need eye contrast. You will see why at the end. I think there will be a lot of gold there. If we have time, we'll even go with uh, the airbrush. Just to show you that you can increase the contrast on Melix with the airbrush. So I will try to, uh, if you've seen at the start of the video, otherwise uh, you might want to, once it's done, to go back and check how the model was uh, primed. But I'm trying to follow the zenithal uh, way, the zenithal lighting that I did with the primer. So everything that is uh, seen from the top, if you check the model like this, everything that is seen from the top here, uh, I will highlight it a lot more uh, brighter than what's on the bottom. So welcome to people joining. Slowly but surely, I uh, might just move the camera. I, I hope I will not lose it. All right. So I'm doing my highlights in a zenithal way. Uh, you can try to to follow the patterns, but like if you if you hit one uh, one crack here, it's not a big deal because this is another reason why I'm doing my highlights first is when I will do my my wash, my contrast paint, or whatever. Uh, the black will actually go in that line and will cover uh, the place that I did put the wrong color in okay all right so let's go that will be gold so there will be a lot of uh, silver and gold here all 
I don't think we will have the time to actually work uh, the cloak, the clothing. But if I'm not losing too much time, we might be able to. So when working 32 millimeters, especially when they are uh, very detailed like this, sometimes uh, it's good to skip a few details just for the sake of keeping the model uh, a bit more simple to read. It's very nice to have a lot of details, but if you don't want to lose uh, too much of the readability of the model you don't want to necessarily just add a lot and all all of the, the details that are on the model so daybreak models are highly highly detailed so at this size you might want to uh, especially for gaming you might want to skip some details like you can see that uh, there's some you can see some, some clothing in the armor and stuff like that. I will not do it. I will treat it as if it was armor. Stuff like that. If I don't treat it like this, I will just put some uh, black on it. And uh, maybe a, a very light highlight, but not more than that. You try to avoid to over uh, detail minis of that size. Keep going with my highlights placed in a zenithal way. So I'm not going to highlight a lot at the bottom of the model. What I want to do though is uh, here the chain I will add some very bright highlights to the, the part of the chains that are facing the sky, let's say. So what's important is to keep all the reflection going upward all in the same direction crazy welcome in how are you going today man so today is the, the true melic uh, kind of tutorial so the model that one is actually this one the one that has the last metal lake on it still have a lot but it's actually the one that has the last metal lake so if you are uh, if you follow the same pattern you only highlight the top of the of the flail here that is that are facing up you don't touch anything that is underneath because this is actually what we will get darker Right, so yes, 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 true metallic crazy. Trying to uh to lose no time because I want to uh to test a lot of things. Jared's terrain, how are you going today? I am going very well. How about you? How about you? Just a few highlights down there, but anyway, that will get uh, darker. Just working, so, so yeah, no worry, no worry, no worry. I understand all that. People are working. Uh, we are not all able to be painting <laughs> and having fun. Some people actually have to work. So I'm doing uh, today. I'm I'm doing a small tutorial about uh, true metal for gaming. It's 
So one way also to get a nice metallic is to stipple. As you can see, there's already some kind of texture on the shield. So uh, you can kind of get a little bit the same by stippling on the other side. Just tell me if the sound is too loud. I will get it all down. So yes, I, I decided to not work on uh, the last run in Diorama because I have too many things to print and printers are actually uh, busy. But the idea is somewhat uh, quite clear right now. I can I can take two minutes to show it. Right. I will need to zoom a little bit again. So the main idea is actually to get a uh, shredder jumping in. I need to replace it there, and it's there's a hole down there just uh, to hold it a bit. But yeah, this is the sketching actually. Uh, nothing is the real thing, but uh, shredder will be jumping into uh, the comic book frame like this with this cave going through and uh, actually everywhere uh, Shredder is in it will be in 3D so uh, everything that is behind will become 3D so he's kind of shattering the comic book frame the, the panel and while he's entering he's transforming everything in 3D so this is what uh, but I have to print a lot of parts like to a trash can and stuff like that. I also need to build uh, the, a real frame because this is just this is just a sketching, so I need to build a uh, a real frame for it. So maybe next week I will keep going on this, but uh, not this week. As today I decided to go with uh. The true melee tutorial and uh friday it's the dual stream with alchemist painting and well with alchemist finger painting because we will be finger painting All right so the shield you see the shield is facing a bit down so i will not highlight a lot i will highlight like the bottom here just to we'll make a little bit more lighter All right, so we, today we will test a lot of things, okay? This model will probably not look uh, that great because we will test different kind of melics and uh, different kind of shading melics. So the first one that I will start with is uh, Null Oil, right? Because I think this is kind of the softest one. It's really hard to have a good shading with uh, Neural Oil unless you apply like three coats. So what I will do is I will put uh, I will put the Neural Oil on this shoulder pad and we will see what it gives. So maybe I will just go over with uh, the contrast paint just to show the difference and you will see. So I will let that dry and I will make uh, I will make the other shoulder pad with the contrast paint. All right. Uh, the only downside to uh, the contrast paint dark uh, black Templar is that it's greenish. It's greenish, so if you leave a large amount of it, you will get your surface a bit green. 
But you can see that it is way stronger. Way stronger than uh, the null oil. But you can also see how greenish it is. Maybe you cannot, but I can see it here. You will have to confirm me, how uh, crazy, that you you see the greenish tone. Do you? So that's the contrast. Not super green. Okay, you don't see the green that much, but you can see this is this is null oil, and this is the contrast. So you can see that you have a better uh, outlining, a way better outlining with the contrast paint, but uh, it's there's somewhat a greenish touch to it. There's a third thing that I want to try. So we will check this. So I will try with uh, Hinks. So I will make another. Uh, so basically, you base silver and dip in no oil. It looks finished. Ah, uh, yes and no. Yes and no. I did an highlight before. So you base coat. You do your first highlight, and then you go with uh, with your shade. So I'm trying on this one. I'm trying to show uh, three kind of shades that can be used on a model. So let me get quickly a dry palette because uh, inks, inks on a wet palette are not a good idea. They will just go through. So if you ask you know, why my wet palette is like all things like that, it's just that at some point the paint is going through the uh, through the wet palette. All right, so I'll, I will use some inks these are very strong so normally what you want to do is to add some flow improver to uh, to the mix like this so hairbrush airbrush flow improver so you can add a little bit of this that will make it act like uh, a shade Because this is this is really strong. I will put it here, like this, so you can see. If I do it on my glove, it's really dark. All right, so this is a good way to have a uh, very nice shading. I will do it. Uh, let's say on the plate here. I try to not apply too much, but you will see that I will get some very strong black lines. There's multiple way to use the inks. So right now I did it with, uh, okay, I'm getting the focus on, okay, right. So you can see, there we go. So, uh, null oil, you can see that the black lining is not obvious. We can see that there is a shading. But do you see a big difference between here and here? Not much. So you would have to use two or three layers of known oil to get a decent shading. Right? So this is the Black Templar contrast. Uh, you can see that the old surface is now very dark compared to, uh, to this. We kind of have lost all the highlights though so uh, maybe you could have tin uh, tin down the contrast a bit to keep more highlights in that and finally we have oh it's not dry yet but we have the hinks here on the pad I will have to let that dry to see the exact uh, result of it but this one we keep all uh, all the highlights and we have the black lines so I would say that uh, the winner here for the moment we'll have to see uh, after it's, it's drying his uh, the ink 
because it's very strong you had some flowing prover and you get some kind of uh, a shade if you use only ink uh, what is this ink this ink is like a uh, liquitex liquitex ink so there's multiple uh, shades I have a lot uh, you can airbrush them there's a lot of things to do they are highly highly pigmented uh, they are kind of contrast paint strong in kind of uh, in terms of pigmentation so uh, very very strong good morning good morning to you so what I will do is I will keep going with the ink as it's actually uh, the best result for the moment so you will see, I will go over the null oil. You will see a big difference between uh, the lining I had with the null oil and the lining that I will get with the ink. So when you are doing metallics, this is what you are aiming for. You need those black lines to uh to outline everything you need those black uh some very dark areas non-reflecting area if you want uh to get your shadows this is uh this is something that you can see in people painting non-metallic metal so they are using black a lot to make the shadows and everything and uh why it's more attracting than true metallics is that no one actually use black for painting true metallic armor and you need that black so that coat of ink will actually uh, let let me do some pretty uh, deep shadows and pretty strong highlights I will just get this out of the screen because it's just taking the the focus away right so let's keep going I will not redo all uh, the plate there because it will be way too dark now so I will apply this everywhere so I hope you guys had some fun I know that crazy did receive is a uh, street fire Kickstarter right that was this one Yeah, how is it looking? Demi yeah, I know. You showed me that the Demis are all uh, pre-painted. Are they pre-painted as good as on... As the, the Kickstarter was advertising? That was my main question. You know, uh, we did check it together and that was uh, the main question I was just they are they are even better nice okay that's I think that's the first time that someone actually tells me that something prepainted is better than what was shown good thing so a uh, thumbs up to uh, to those guys right uh, I sent you a link also uh, crazy did you see I've got like uh, a notification today that I've been mentioned uh, somewhere I was like okay what is this uh, and I went and uh, I did listen and uh, that was kind of funny <laughs> so it was all good so all uh, good words I'll try to uh, to make a post about it because this is a uh, That was very nice. Right, so you you can notice that uh, I will end up with a very dark metallic. This is what you aim for. 
this is what you aim for. You need a uh, dark melic with very dark lines between everything. Because this is how you will actually be able to read all the pieces. Like doing all the black lines between uh, these details is very hard. You need those. You need those. Otherwise you will not notice uh, the details. Right, and let's do it on the shield. So on the shield, I want to get all the, the black lines everywhere. So I'm going to put a good amount of it. So you want to have some very nice black lines. And then we'll uh, start back the highlights once it will be dry. If you ever want it uh, less strong than that, because it's covering mo most of my eye, you can just add uh, a bit of water in it. Or uh, what you do is you take a, a bit less and you uh, spread it more. So this is why you don't do the gold also first. Like some people, I see some people doing like the base coat of silver and then the base coat of gold. If you do so, when you will do your uh, your wash like that, you will just screw up your gold, right? So at this point, after the uh, the wash is dry, I could I could do my my gold. As I will not just uh, add more wash. I will just do highlights. So normally, if you do your highlights and you are careful, you will not touch any other zones. Uh, I will do to fail so you see if I just clean my brush and I I just get the ink into uh, the recess I can keep my highlights Right, so the wash is done everywhere. I now have a very dark melic. But we kind of uh, see all the lines very well. So what I will do, I will start the gold right away. Right, I will let that dry. Uh, while it's drying, I will try to uh, make the gold in places that are... Uh, not too wet with the, the ink. And that will be the same process. So uh, I will do the gold, I will do an highlight, then I will make mix with inks, and I will go over and wash my gold. So it's a pretty simple kind of way of doing it. So yes, crazy, I'm, well, maybe you are just listening to, uh, to the podcast that I did send, but yeah, I repeat it, this is a gaming way of doing metallics right now, right, because you can, uh, if you want to go further than that, you can add some shading to your metallics and stuff like that, you can add green, you can add uh, a lot of things to your metallics. All right, let's start with some gold. If you have any questions, it's a good time.
So once again, base coating does not need does not need to be perfect. And this is the artist part, as you have to get all uh, all the small designs that are on the plate. All right. I'll try to not add too much gold. Try to keep it as a fighting armor, not as a I don't know how it's called, parade armor. Yep, no worry, Red Beer. Uh, I will show your stuff. Well, I can take a minute to uh, to show it if you have one minute. So I want to uh, I want to show you guys what uh, Red Beer did draw. There we go. Let's go on to. Uh, if you are going to uh, to leave, I just want to show it. So here we go. So uh, Redbeer was uh, quite liking uh, the fight between Shredder and the Last Ronin, and he actually started uh, drawing the fight a bit with his own style. And this is the final render of his drawing, which is totally awesome. So thank you very much, Redbeer. If you guys are not following uh, Redbeer, you can uh, you can follow him. I think we got. Uh, Red beer hard, so that's the exact same tag. Oh, uh, if someone can just send a link, that would be nice. Uh, I can probably do it. So let me just yes, I can do it. Here we go. So you can drop a follow, always appreciated. Here we go. So yes, he did a really nice uh drawing of this. Right, I'll try to make a bit of gold here. Yeah, it was just sending this to me. I was like, whoa, dude, I can't draw a, th a single thing. Yeah, that was really nice. I was just not sure about because they did not contact me or anything. There's just uh, I just got like a notification as I've been tagged in something, and like a podcast. I was like, what? What is? <laughs> and uh, I did have a, a bit of trouble to actually find the podcast. Like uh, I was finding the uh, the post where I was tagged. I was finding uh, YouTube was linking me to a YouTube page but that was not the podcast so I had to do a little bit of research uh, to find it but when I found uh, I, I found it uh, I did listen to it and it was uh, really nice kind words Maybe you could do an interview with my bad English. With my very bad English. <laughs> well, it's going to, uh, well, yeah, I know. But, you know, this is... How can I say it? I... Social medias are not my strong points. I think there's a lot of underrated artists because they just don't know how to handle social uh, social medias, mostly. I, I don't. I don't really. I'm getting a bit better, but I know that I'm not doing it correctly, 
and I should do more for social medias, but I don't have, like, that much time for it. Exactly, exactly. I'm getting better, so yeah, it's uh, it's longer for me to, to learn <laughs> about social media. But no, I, I know how it works, I just don't have the time. Like, you know, trying to make more stories, more posts and stuff like that, but uh, you know. But I totally get it. I will try to change the, uh, this this year, especially with what's uh, what's incoming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is odd. Uh, in fact, I think that uh, hiring uh, someone to to do it, I don't know how much it costs, but actually, if you want to live from it, I think that. Uh, Paying someone to actually that that knows how to advertise you and things like that uh, would bring a lot more money than it costs. But yeah, the road to 3k followers, Kipper Ross. Uh, we are close. Uh, uh, I did it the uh, 1.8k uh, followers, so there's 200 uh, missing for the 2k followers. Yep, yep, yep. We are getting there. Alright, I'm just trying to figure out what I will do of uh, gold. Right. Here. So there will not be that much gold. You sent me a picture. I will check it in a few seconds. I will try to finish my gold. So once again, a lot, a lot of details on those Daybreak Miniatures models. Ah, uh, crazy, before I check it, just to, to be sure, as this will be... Okay, uh, crazy. It might. Oh, okay, I will check because I want to. Uh, I want to do the the kind of tutorial, and I will actually export it. So maybe I will do it once I'm done with uh, the painting of the gold. Just so uh, I did not really check the models, but I will try to finish the the gold the the tutorial. A quick tutorial before going to uh, talking about something else. Because if I want to uh, highlight it, I would like to have uh, not too much stuff in between. Are you going to dub over? I don't think so. I think it will be uh, clear enough. I will just uh, export the part of the YouTube uh, of the Twitch stream over YouTube. I think people will uh, will be able to understand. I will not accelerate the process or anything. It's quite simple. People are able to do it. I will do a better one later. I would probably take uh, less detailed model to do it because at, at this point it's almost hard to put the gold on some parts as it's very small. Should I dub over? I don't think so. I think you missed uh, a big part at the start where I was explaining uh, most of the stuff. 
but that's not a big deal. I think the important thing was uh, the testing about the null oil and uh, the contrast paint and the ink to see who, who was the winner. I think that's the important part of the video. So uh, even me, I was not sure on the gold. On the gold, I will not even go with uh, the Agrax Urchate because it is exactly the same thing as uh, the Null Oil. I know, I know what it is. Uh, you are not getting strong shadows with uh, with the shades with the Agrax the Agrax Urchate. So what I will do is I will try. The contrast paint and I will try the ink so we will have a good uh, we'll be able to see the difference between both so as I was seeing also at the start of the stream Uh, I will probably ha I will have to uh, stop the stream a little bit early because I need to go get the kid at the daycare uh, earlier so maybe at 3 30 uh, what I was doing actually crazy at some point uh, I was adding one drop uh, one or two drop of inks into my Agrax or my uh, Nulnoid just to boost it so it's working but you're not getting uh, a, a strong tone as if you use only inks But it's a good thing. Probably that I will try to find or print, uh, let's say, three shields and make one shield with shades, one shield with contrast paint, and one shield with inks and uh, flow improver. Just to show people the difference between the three. So maybe we can do this uh, somewhere in another stream. That would be something I I need to uh, to find a project for a stream. Like building uh, uh, right now, I have building the diorama, but uh, just finding the pieces to print and stuff like that will take me a few days. So I will have uh, probably one or two stream to find uh, stuff to do. So this one, I did uh, tell people that I would do uh, some kind of true Metal Lake tutorial for gaming. So this is uh, this is what I am doing. Here we go. You still need to do primer, uh, boss, or that uh, primer is. <laughs> you want another one, right? Yes, at some point I will do another one. Uh, the Primark uh, boss would take uh, multiple streams to paint. They are also highly detailed, but yeah, I have a few of them. I would need to check. Alright. Alright. So let's say the gold is base coated. It's very dark. This is where I will start adding uh, my highlights. My highlights being a very bright gold. Oro el fico. Right. Let me just check something. Do to be 
sure. Right. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Maybe. Maybe you could do a 32 millimeter of that Triceratop guy. Seems like a fun school. Uh, yep. Yep, I really like this one, but uh, I kind of uh, deal with uh, prey that I will print the other guy from uh, Kane Legacy. I just forgot the name. Uh, pa 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 pa. Forgot the name. Right. Raziel, yeah. Raziel? Raziel? So, yes, uh, I, I, I already have it, so I just have to print it. So, you send it to me, so I can, uh, I can do it on Twitch. Because he told me that he got a lot of, uh, of reactions out of this one. Well, I would do it exactly as uh, he has done. Turquoise. <laughs> but uh, I did watch some of the pictures and uh, the sword. He is, uh, well, it's not really a sword. It's uh, some kind of, well, flaming sword. I don't know. I I've never played to that game, so I cannot really tell you. Uh, but... The weapon on his arm is actually ghostly a bit, so I might be tempted to try to print uh, some part of it into a uh, clear, clear risen. But if I'm right, the weapon is somewhat uh, turquoise. Right, so I had all the eye lights trying to follow Zenital eye lighting. I can exaggerate a bit because I know that my uh, my inks will uh, tone down. Have you seen the Games Workshop technical paints? That's like ghostly looking. Which one? The Tesseract glow? The green one? I've seen it. Of course, I've seen uh, everything. I just don't own them. So I think you are talking about uh, the Tesseract Glow, but I'm not sure. So you can see, well, we don't see, you, you can see that it's weird, the reflection is weird. <laughs> totally weird, because you can see that there's a lot of gold out there, but uh, the reflection, X-ray flame, okay. Yeah, I did see it also. So I'm not trying to pick uh, all the details. I'm just trying to do some very strong highlights everywhere. Trying to aim only at the top of the details, but these are really small, so it happens that I just hit the old thing. Normally, uh, the shade will be correcting this. Alchemist painting! How are you going today? Where is he? Whoa! Aha! Aha! <laughs> that wasn't creepy. No, Jamie, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you very much, Alchemist. Painting for that 
raid. That massive raid. Going good. So you see, I did not cheat with primer. I think, well, it's, it's kind of nice. But, uh, yeah, I did not cheat, except like this. This was not me, all right? That was not on purpose. But, uh, you know, I'm prepared. I did uh, cover my handle for Friday. <laughs> and I started to, uh, to wrap each of my pots individually into Saren Wrap just to not get anything messy. That's not true. So welcome in. Thank you very much again. Thank you, uh, Argent Dark Boo. Woo! So, uh, Alchemist, since you have... Uh... What? Like, you, you're telling me that Zinnal Eyelighting is cheating now? Uh... Yes, so Agent Dark Booty, welcome in. I can see that, uh... Your followers did change a bit since you have an OnlyFan. That's all I have to say. You have to say... I, I asked him if I had to do the primer with my fingers. He said no. So I did start priming. I was not thinking that doing Zinedal would be cheating. But yeah. I did it. Uh... I'm sorry, but uh, no, it's not Zenithal primer. Uh, I actually printed. Uh, I printed in black resin, and I just uh, sprayed a bit of pri white primer over it. You know, not cheating. Not cheating. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. So, uh, welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. So today, uh, like on Instagram, I did ask people. Uh, Wait, I got my head cut there. Welcome in, Texas War Gamer. Thank you for the follow. So yes, on Instagram I asked uh, my followers to uh, to choose between four models to do uh, a true metallic kind of gaming, true metallic uh, tutorial. So this is what I am doing today. We are testing some stuff. Uh, over this guy, but uh, this is actually the one that has less armor that one, but there's still enough armor to do it. That's not a problem. So uh, if you guys want a small uh, breakup on how it's done presently, uh, we did test a few things, alright? So Alchemist, you will be, well, proud and not proud of me, because this is not what I did choose. So I did I did uh, a test by using Null Oil and contrast Black Templar to get my shading on on the silver, right? Uh, they both are not the winner. Okay, so the best the best result I got is from actually mixing some uh, ink like this with a uh, Flow Improver to get some kind of shade right that gives you some kind of uh, something that is looking like a games workshop shade so this is how i had uh a very dark metallic with black lines everywhere so from there i will do uh did you use an airbrush no absolutely not this is only brush right now but you know if i have time but i don't think i will have time if i have time this is the airbrush is actually a way you can get uh, your shades better because uh, you can actually hairbrush some black into the darkest area just to kill the reflection where there's uh, no reflection that are, that are supposed to be there. So you can just uh, airbrush some parts to kill the reflection. You can do it by brush also, but it's way easier to do it with, uh, with the airbrush. So yes, uh, right now the silver is not highlighted. Well, it's highlighted once, but I did it before uh, adding the ink everywhere so I, I have to add at least one highlight on the silver uh, right now I'm doing my base coat and my first highlight on the gold everywhere and I will put uh, the same thing I will put the ink in to get my shading and then I will go back with my highlights so uh, yeah a bit of I would say complex I, I did it I, I was just saying that it was gaming um, 
gaming uh, True Metallic, but you know, this is like five steps. So uh, some people might find it's a bit too much for, uh, for gaming. But welcome everyone. Welcome everyone with the raid. So yeah, I was hanging in uh, all of Miss Chat a bit today while I was working. There was some weird stuff going on. As usual, I guess. This is the usual. This is why I'm mostly always there every day. <laughs> weird stuff. You know, your tongue twisting while saying that you were rimming. This is just as weird as everything's going on. Standard chat. Yep, no worry, Alchemist. Uh, I will keep going with my highlights. I believe. <laughs> How are you going, Jamie? Oh, I will show you guys. I think I did not show it. Uh, I will show it while Alchemist is gone. So maybe some of you guys uh, have seen that I did a uh, Ninja Turtle comic book style. I am now working on to uh, adding a diorama to it. So maybe I can show I can show the the final picture. Did you see me mention that I will be getting an airbrush? Ooh, nice. Uh, no, I did not see it because uh, mainly I am working while I... Some days I'm able to uh, to check the chat while I'm working, but some days I am not able to. So uh, unless uh, Alchemist is actually mentioning something with uh, with my name, I do not switch to, uh, to the Twitch page. But yeah. Commander Min and Co. Yes, have a good... Uh, have a good night. Have a, have a good night. It's weird for me to say that at 1 uh, p.m. But yep, have a good night. I hope you had a great day. Alright, so I'm, I, I'm just doing it uh, zenithal way. No need to be very, uh, very clean right now because we will head the shade after. So very nice, uh, Jamie. You will see that uh, getting an airbrush is actually a game changer into painting. All right, let me get uh, let me get you the picture of my comic book, comic book uh, turtle. I have to get it on my Instagram, sadly, because it is not on. There we go. Wow, the picture is so bad here, but yep. Discord, do we see it? Okay, right. So this is actually uh, the turtle that I did paint in comic style. I'll try to get it a bit bigger, like this. There we go. So uh, I painted this, and then we started talking, and I was just about... Uh, like thinking about doing a diorama. <laughs> of course, you you like comic books, crazy. So of course, it's your favorite uh, painting. Of course. So uh, it was done, and uh, we started thinking about planning a diorama for this one. So we uh, we, we went for something very simple. Very, very simple. So simple that I have, uh, I need multiple days to get uh, everything printed and everything figure, figured out. Okay, let me, let me try to, to get a little bit further away. So that will be some kind of half circle with Shredder uh, going through uh, a cubby it's hard because I need to glue it there. Uh, with Shredder shattering 
into a comic book panel. So this this side will be in 3D and the other side will be in 2D except where Shredder is actually standing and shattering the panel. So it will like it will bring the 3D world with him. So this is a uh, this is the old thing, but that will be hard. That will be hard to uh, to do. Maybe in maybe in upcoming streams, I need to kind of print all the stuff and things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's what will be going on. Probably after uh, the finger painting. Right, so uh, my gold. I will keep going with my gold. So uh, yes, this is uh, this is the big project that will be on stream in the upcoming weeks, I guess, because I don't really know. Uh, I also have to uh, to paint. I don't know if any of you guys are gamers. This is uh, this is this is actually a game that I don't know, but uh, Legacy of Cain. Anyone knows it? So if any of you guys knows it, uh, I will actually be painting Raziel. Raziel? Pronounce it like it needs to be pronounced. But yeah, I will be painting Raziel in the upcoming streams also. So uh, probably it will be a mix of everything. And uh, yes, I forgot to mention that while while I am painting uh, this guy, which means today only, okay, this guy. Uh, this guy is actually at 20% off on my Etsy in this skill and 75mm skill. And as I am also working on uh, the last run in Ninja Turtle and Shredder, they are both at 15% off on the Etsy store. Da da da! But yeah, this is a. Uh, I think uh, Alchemist is doing the same anyway. Uh, while he is working with uh, a model, it is discounted on the Etsy store. Alright, so my base color and my first highlights are done everywhere on uh, the gold. So, what I will do is the same process. I will take. Uh, some inks and I will head so I need to shake it you can you can see like this is separating quite fast uh, I will head a little bit of uh, airbrush flow improver just to get it uh, flowing better right this is not called flow improver for nothing it's actually helping the old thing I will just shake it like this because like this it, it looks weird a bit uh, yes so you want to uh, to add some flow improver so the ink is not staying on the top of the model. So all I'm doing, I'm I'm not on my wet palette. I'm on a dry palette like this. So I had a few drops of flow improver. I mix it. And you will see that I will get some uh, very strong shadows right away. So it's better. It's better than uh, Agrax Urchade. There's uh, there's darker inks than that, so you could buy also a darker ink than that. So once it will be uh, dry, the only thing that is left to do is to uh, to do a final highlight. So you can see that I'm getting some very dark shadows. It's really easy to uh, to read to read the model after, and I'm not losing the middle X. This is the important point: is uh, inks like that are not killing the Metalix. And 
and crazy was telling me uh could you head uh some null oil to uh agrax earthshade of course i could do the same with the ink if i want it uh darker i could just add a little bit of black into my brown ink to get a darker tone so you keep a vibrant gold doing it that way I will wait till it's dry to show it because it's really uh, reflective so I do it everywhere and then I will make my highlights on the gold and on the silver and that will be the basic true metallic that I do when I do gaming models. I will do the on oh, the inside is ooh, the inside was not done is there a brown gold that comes out of the pot wait what is there a brown gold that comes out of the pot in this shape A brown gold that comes out of the pot. You mean my color there? So, uh, the actual base coat that I did use, right, is the darkest, darkest gold from the range. So you don't have a uh, darkest one. I can show you the range of uh, scale 75. I have it all. Yeah, I know they have. This is the darkest one that I did use, but it's not dark enough. So you know, uh, my base coat was decayed metal. So it's uh, it's not even gold anymore. It's kind of copper. It's so dark that it's uh, copper like. My highlights are with elven gold. So with uh, with the shade, you kind of tone down the elven gold. But yeah, that's uh, that's the darkest one after you have uh, the the necro gold, which is not. Uh, you see this kind of gold more uh this one is more brown this one is more green so the elven gold the other uh shades of gold i will just so these are the other uh shades of gold so uh there's five pots in this so yes there's a yellow one an orange one and a brown one kind of choose whatever you want uh, but you know these are a lot less uh, vibrant yep exactly so uh, this is why I'm always using uh, the Alvin one but it all depends what you are uh, looking for when you're looking for uh, gaming models that you want to uh, to have some punching colors and stuff like that uh, you try to go with uh, very bright colors so this one is the brightest all right let's do some highlights back now that everything is shaded so i will uh work back on the uh yes exactly crazy looks a lot like retributor from uh, games workshop 
So this is where I will start working back on my highlights. So I will uh, has I have some shades drying on the gold. I will work on doing my highlights on the silver because I hate waiting for paint to dry. So uh, when you're doing your highlights, you do your highlights and you try to leave some very dark areas just to get your shadows. So these will be not as reflective as your highlights and this is what you uh, you kind of want. So you try to do your your highlights following once again the zenithal highlighting that was done at the start so if you guys are painting some uh, non-metallic metal this is the exact same same way but now you can see my silver is highlighted you can see that there's a lot of dark and bright on the shoulder pad there so you want to reach a very bright and a very dark Sarid24 welcome to the Thunderdome how are you going today so today is a uh, kind of tutorial day because I did ask uh, people on my Instagram if they wanted and on which metal they wanted the true metallic metal tutorial so this is what I am doing right now so once uh, once the shade is done you want to be careful to keep to keep the black lines that we created and that makes the uh, like the the elbow here easy to read this is what you want to keep so uh, you are uh, more careful doing your final highlights there right because if you lose those you will have to do the lines back uh, by hand which is uh, more painful than doing it with the shade So I'm not, I'm not doing any highlights under there. I'm only focusing on the top of the arms, like there, like here. You can see I'm only highlighting the top of the arms because it's giving me some kind of natural highlight. Of course, uh, looking at True Milik in a camera or on a picture is something that is not as nice as checking it in real life but I'll try to give you a good idea of what it's looking like because here you, yeah the reflection here is kind of uh, a bit more than what it is actually because I have a lot of lights around me for uh, the stream so it's kind of boosting a little bit the highlights if you guys want to join the discord to show uh, to share your your work or whatever I will take uh, can be painting drawing things like that you can just uh, join join the discord and we'll take a look at some point in the stream so I did show a little bit earlier I did show you guys the diorama that I was building but there's actually uh, a viewer here that 
did a drawing of the diorama that I was building, and it's quite nice. So the contrast paints here actually killed a lot the metallic. I can see on that shoulder pad was the one that uh, I did the test with the contrast black templar and uh, there was actually no more metallic left. So maybe uh, the contrast needs to be tinned down. I would have to do some tests. I think that the contrast might need to be tinned down a bit for uh, shading metallics. So it's all about getting uh, the highlights in uh, the same direction. Yep, I would have to do it. Uh, I think crazy. That's uh, a good idea to uh, to just print some metallic parts or anything that we could do some test and do it. Do example with agri well, null oil agrax can do both for gold and uh, I think and can try to uh, to make uh, with the contrast with pure contrast with uh, seventy percent contrast and twenty five percent contrast medium. 50 50 like I think the contrast is the one that is the we have to work around the more the most uh, the inks you can see what inks give it's pretty nice like I did not lose the metallic uh, I have some really dark uh, shadings and everything so that's uh that's nice and normally uh, those kind of inks are a bit glossy. It helps a lot. Uh, this is not for. Uh, this is the reason why Games Workshop actually started to make some gloss shades. It's because uh, it's acting better over metallic. It's not killing the metallic. Yeah, exactly. This is water. They are uh, like eye leaping mint in the water, so they are just going through the uh, the wet palette. So yes, you uh you kind of have to use those inks into a dry palette. All right, I don't want to go too far into uh, the tutorial. I think that at this point, uh people can choose to, to what level they want to work their metallics so I will finish that coat of silver I will finish uh, the gold and we will take a look at that uh, I would say quite fast it was not that long just that uh, the model is hard to paint by itself because there's a lot of details but on simple uh, on simple model this is something that you can achieve quite fast like this this is actually uh, three coats of paint and uh, one coat of shading so it's not a big deal I would say it took me long because the, the model is hard actually. a lot of details But you can push it further. So what I will go through after I will go uh, if you want to rust it. Let's say we could uh, we could add some rust into uh, some areas if uh, some people are interested. I can show how to work the metallics a bit further by adding uh, rust. Right. Uh, let's go back with the gold now and get our bright highlights back so this is where you only hit the highest areas to get your highlights back
when I have uh, some designs like like this, I will try to hit only a few spots at the top of the designs to make it like if it's reflection. But you know, this is some uh, this is some nitpicking. Like you could have stopped clearly where I was. These are just had a little bit more. I'm not spending a lot of time on on these. You know, I'm just doing a few dots here and there to get uh, the shine back. And uh, the shield, and we will be done. The shield is mostly uh, the thing that you want to, to put your highlights correctly on. This is the big piece of, of metal there. Edge highlights. And there will be. You can see the shield now. This is uh this is what it gives. So you get some nice metal X. Really hard to show on camera. Damn it, I got so much reflection. I'll try to close. Okay, this is already better. You can see, you can see my highlights. It's not that harsh on, uh, like, on uh, when my both of my lights are on. But yeah, right now I'm just getting a lot of reflections from my lights. Right. So that would be the basic uh the basic of through metallic for gaming, like easy way to do it. It's like a base coat, an highlight, a shade, and an highlight. So four steps. There's four steps on uh this metallic. So I will uh I will base coat the cloak red just to get rid of the, that white so I will try to show you how to uh, to do it quickly this is uh 